captain and storyteller here aboard the bell. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. We're going to get swallowed by a whale. Your children so our story doesn't take any unexpected turns. Now, most people travel to stories through the pages of a book, but those lucky enough to visit in person, whether it be through Rabbit Hole or the little bit of Pixie Dust, may find the way to be quite magical or even a little menacing. But don't worry, it looks like we're traveling to the jaws of Monstro the Whale. We're actually being transported to a magical place called the Storybook Land. And like all good stories, ours begins with a once upon a time, and in this case, a big bad wolf, whose cave is coming up to our left. Now he's always chasing after oh, the three little pigs to live safely across the, the big bad wolf's cave. One made of straw, one made of sticks, and the last made of guaranteed uh -huh. wolf proof bricks. <laughs> and giant ducks. Godzilla ducks. <laughs> Monster ducks. <laughs> but our story takes a strange turn. But coming up to our left is the quaint English village, home to Alice. For one golden hour, she was the white rabbit down, down, down. down. The oh, there's the rabbit hole. And ended up in Wonderland. Now, Storybook Land is filled with fantastical places like London Park to our right, where Peter Pan and the Darling Children flew over on their way to Neverland. All it took was a little bit of faith, trust, and some pixie dust. And fantastical places like Agrabah, City of Enchantment, where a street rat named Aladdin fell in love with Princess Jasmine. All those who tour from different worlds through the power of true love. And a little help from a genie. They were married and live in the Sultan's palace today. Here in Storybook Land, love shines forever. Like the twinkling lights in the archways above us. The very same archways that Princess Jasmine and Aladdin soared over, sideways and under, on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. But stories can take some dark and mysterious turns, like the Game of Wonders just ahead, where Aladdin found the lamp of the genie and was granted three wishes. Let's all make a wish inside and see if it comes true. I wish for Disneyland to be free. <laughs> Princess Snow White wished for safety from the evil queen, and she found it to our right in the cottage of the seven dwarves. They granted her shelter in exchange for her kindness, and if you listen closely, you might be able to hear them whistle while they work. And Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but her stepmother forbade it, leaving her in their blue jet coat for a bus. Her fairy godmother did come and grant her wish, but when Cinderella didn't return home by midnight, her carriage turned back into a pumpkin, and it's still there it's up the there today. While magic has its limitations, thankfully, love does not, and Cinderella lived happily ever after with her prince charming. But not all wishes are those of living happily ever after. Some are simply about drifting off to sleep on a bed of quilted flowers, like the ones to our left, inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon Lullaby Land. There's magic everywhere in storybook lands, including the miniature plants and flowers. They are completely real, and thanks to our friend Tinkerbell's enchantment, they never ever have to grow up. The Wind and the Willows with Bull Rat and Mr. Toad, whose stately manor is coming up to our left. But sorry folks, it doesn't look like anyone's home right now. Mr. Toad must be on a wild drive to nowhere in particular. And just beyond is the kingdom of Arendelle, home of sisters Anna and Elsa. When Elsa ran away to her ice palace in the mountains, 
her sister Anna just couldn't let her go. They were reunited with the help of some friends and once again proved that true love can weather any storm. And to our right is the Alpine Village, home of Geppetto. He wished on a star that his puppet would turn into a real boy. And Dr. Pinocchio saved him from the belly of Monstro. The blue fairy came and granted his wish. Our final wish is that of the Little Mermaid Ariel, who wished to become part of our world. Her story begins in the shadow of her father, King Triton, in their kingdom of Atlantica on our left. Of course, her story ends with a happily ever after. And as our story comes to a close, I would like to remind you to remain seated with your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat and away from the dock. On my count of three, we will all stand up together to remain balanced so that nobody has to take a trip under the sea. On behalf of all storytellers here, thank you for becoming part of our story and have a magical day here at Disneyland. Thank you very much. What happened? What happened, honey? You want to spin fast or you want to spin slow or you want to spin no? Turn this way to go faster. Fast, slow. Let's go Then take it nice and slow. Your hands are off the seat and legs inside while the children. Just follow the teapot. Just keep turning the wheel to the right or to the left. The faster you turn it, the faster you go. Well, it's off to the teapot. Let's off to the teapot. Oh, here we go. Just like that. She can't turn it. Ah. Here we go, you ready? Yeah. Through the bubbles. Into the bubbles. Whoa. Oh, you really got us going. I gotta stop now. This is great. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Once again, please remain seated until your teacup has run completely out of steam. Once it has, like, did it run out of steam? Completely out of steam. All right. Let's go.